Manager Operations Director here at Savion International. Uh, tonight's going to be a great webinar where we're going to go over some back office training. The, uh, basically everything that's going on with the back office, all of the questions will be answered. We'll be a little do we'll do a little question and answer segment after the uh, webinar is finished. So that way we can uh, use this as a video to share with our team, with our new members. Uh, that people that just want to get started and learn all about their savvy on back office, what the functions are. We've had a lot of changes. And so that I want to let everyone know that this is a webinar for tonight about the changes, about the updates and enhancements. And then we'll do a QA after I hit the recording off and then uh, answer some uh, some questions for the people that are live. That's exactly what you get with it here in uh, and being a live member. Uh, so it's, you always want to tune into these live if you can. Let's go over. Um, the uh, the next event that we have, the corporate event that we have is February 4th here in Los Angeles. It's the Savion Showcase Tour. Um, I hear that if we're not sold out already, we are almost there. So uh, anyway, if you're thinking about coming, it's a free event to you, but we are limited on seating for sure. All right, so here we go. Let's get started and dive into it. Um, and I'll get to the comment section after the webinar is, is, uh, is, is done because I want to make sure we get full attention to uh, the PowerPoint on the screen. Tonight, we're going to be talking about some back office training, tonight's webinar topic. Uh, it's important to know exactly how to use your membership, how to uh, go over some of the changes, and make sure that uh, you know everything, the ins and outs of this. So this is definitely going to have to be broken up. So tomorrow, I'm also going to do another one. Now, it's not going to be so much live, uh, but it'll be a part two. So that way, you can have this in addition to it. Um, as well. So let's talk about it. We have the uh, the back office starting off with the profile. So as soon as you walk, uh, as soon as you log into your back office, um, you'll have a new tab now. You have three drop downs um, on this menu from the profile tab. So as soon as you you can either click the profile tab here or you can click on the user button and that will take you to this next page, which is your um, user profile tab. And this user profile tab here will allow you to edit your address, your state, basically renew your membership or reactivate. So I'm going to put a little arrow here. People were looking for that. It's just, it was in a different tab. Basically, you'd have to click the profile, but now we made it a little easier to now, if you just select user, there's my wonderful arrow. If you select user, then you'll be able to get to this one as well. Or to make things easier, you could just click the profile button as well. So either clicking the profile button or clicking on user will get you here. And this will allow you to change your team placement if you're an affiliate. Um, and the capture page setup is going away as well. We're, we're bringing in a whole new system for that. So that's an update for you. But not in this webinar. We want to go over what's currently in place. So basically, here you go. If you hit renew or reactivate GSP, it will give you the option to enter a, a, a code a savvy on pass or with your credit card. And I've got an update about the credit cards here in just a little bit. The second tab underneath the profile is the membership. People wanted to know, you know, where, where's the central hub for me to um, do my membership and, and, and be able to control that. So here it is. Um, if you're not yet an affiliate, so you signed up as a GSP enjoying the uh, benefits of what the GSP will do for you, then uh, you can sign up to be an affiliate member. And you have to agree to the terms and hit sign up. Now, there are terms and conditions coming as well. Uh, we have an affiliate agreement that's coming out, uh, and that's being placed on the website as well, and as well as a cash back. So um, if you want to sign up for both of those, you can click and opt in on that. That opens up new tabs, which I'll be exploring in a minute. So let's go back to the drop down under profile. You now have a new one called payment. The payment also allows you to select your credit card, make changes on this credit card anytime as well as the circuit card. Now, this is quickly being changed into Savvy on Black. And again, more updates when I get there. So let's go to the circuit card. You then can enter your card name, the billing name, billing address. Uh, basically, you have full right to um, you know, change out the credit card on file. This is all you. So uh, just agree to the box. We'll switch it out for you. So if your card expired, um, if you want to upgrade your, your card, however, um, you'll be able to do that at that time for sure. Let's go here and make sure that we have a, a um, explanation on the circuit card tab. So if you're in the United States at this time, you have a circuit card profile. 
So the circuit card profile is basically how you've been getting paid. United States members had a, a circuit card and still have that. And an update on the circuit card is it will still be available to push cash back to and uh, commissions until uh, January 31st. And that uh, we're being very, very um, cautious with the rollout. I want to say cautious. I want to say um, uh, careful of getting a hard date because we, we're, we're pushing everything to our, like I mentioned before, our February 4th event, our showcase, where we just, um, where we launch everything, okay? Uh, the month of January is mostly our, our beta test month, but I want to let everybody know that this is how you can, you know, uh, put in your circuit card profile and stuff like that right now. The next tab we have is the Savion Black Card tab and the Savion Virtual tab. So if you click on that, as of right now, you're going to hit the screen that says coming soon after beta test is complete. And uh, we're still in beta test with all of that, and things are rocking out. Uh, we've got a lot of updates going on with that as well, but you'll have to wait to the Savion Showcase for that one. So the next tab with, with, uh, with everything, if you click on the GSP tab, you'll go straight here to our Global Savings Plan, and that is continuously uh, going to be enhanced throughout the year. We're going to put pack so much value into this specific plan here that uh, people are going to understand, you know, it's only $125, all I have to pay for this, and I get this much value. Right now, at this moment, we still have that. If you click on Instant Savings Benefit, check this out. I've got some screenshots for you. I did this myself. So I walked in this thing, clicked on uh, Instant Savings. Instantly, there was 25% off of Papa John's Pizza. I started looking at all this, and, and uh, I put in my coordinates, my uh, address at Manhattan Beach, and I started looking at this stuff. I'm like, okay, well, that's neat. I get some discounts. I started going a little further, and I realized that there are some uh, grocery coupons here. So, in addition to any of these, you can claim if I want to, uh, whether it be a golf course or whatever. If I want to go here and and add, you know, basically get discounts on all of this stuff, you more than likely can. Uh, but if you go to this grocery coupon, this is something that maybe if you're not using, you need to check this out. In in my area, at least, I could go and, and get all of these. As soon as I hit that button, I got redirected, the coupons button, I got redirected to this. And I got to continue to scan through all the buttons. I, I clipped a couple of these coupons by just clicking on them. When you click on them, basically they're clipped for you. So I did that, and then next it said print coupons. So I wanted to see if, <laughs> wanted to see if this worked. And I wanted to make sure uh, that everything is, uh, is, is kosher for this webinar tonight. Uh, so what I did was I hit the print coupon button, and then this screen popped up. So it asked me to enter my uh, cell phone number, so I did. I put that in, and boom, as soon as I hit send, it asked me for a verification code. I put that in, and it immediately took me to the printer page. Isn't this cool, guys? Check this out. I got to print out this coupon here, $4 off, $4 off this one and this one here. I mean, instantly, I can go use these at the uh, store. Look, this is what your membership is already. This is just in addition to all of the cashback benefits as well that, that you have uh, with Savion. But that's not it because uh, there's also a travel portal as well. Whenever I go up and I uh, click on the travel portal button, which you'll find right here under, under the GSP membership, you'll be able to click on that and it will take you directly to this page. And if you want to start your search on travel, click that button right there where to start my search. Boom. There you go. You've got access to all of these exclusive deals, hotel destinations, discounts off, up to 56. Sometimes I've even seen as high as 75% off an entire you know, vacation package. So if you're not using this already, you're, you're, you're losing money. Uh, savings so far this year, um, uh, so far uh, in, in the last year since we've been using this, is $23 million saved almost $24 million. Uh, just know there's going to be more enhancements coming out for this, maybe soon, the ability to book your own travel uh, at any places. Now, I'm just giving you all this uh, little bit of information, but understand there's enhancements coming all the time. Check this out. The next tab is called our cashback tab. Now, this member here, Mr. Joe Smith, he is already a member of GSP. That's how he's able to get those coupons and discounts. So, he is uh, automatically upgraded uh, to the cashback enhance because you saw that I opted in for that. So I opted in for cashback enhance, and just to give you a refresher of where that was located at, whenever I went to the members portal, the members page, and I, I wanted to uh, check 
this box here, if I'm not a cashback member, I sign me up because I get the enhanced cashback for free. So now let's go back and let me show you what the enhanced cashback will allow me to do as a Savion member. If I click this right here, it brings me to this page. Our enhanced cashback program allows you to pick up, you, as you know, I covered this a little bit last night, you get up to 10 non-preferred stores and up to 20 um, preferred stores. Okay, you can choose 10 non-preferred and 10 um, preferred stores, or I'm sorry, 10, uh, uh, you can choose 10 um, non-preferred and 10 uh, preferred stores if you want. We call it the MAP prop, uh, program, and <laughs> I'm so sorry, my phone is blowing up and it is, it is crazy, but here, here's what I want to show you. If you do that, you can hit this edit preferred stores list, okay? So we're going to show you how to enter a MAP store. And this is just for my webinar people tonight. We're going to do a professional uh, presentation for everybody. Uh, that way you can share this with your team. That way um, it's strictly something, play the music, and it's just, just an easier thing for people to, uh, to share and have more profession with. Actually, we're going to do a separate small two-minute video for each section, uh, which I think is going to be very helpful because people don't want to watch a 45-minute webinar. Um, it's good that you're here live with me, uh, and that's important. But I want to let everybody know that it is, it's even more important for you to uh, have it easily duplicatable uh, for your downline for your team. So we go here. You're able to uh, choose your map stores like this. And right now it's a drop-down menu. It's going to be even easier for your um, app, whatever you're able to uh, add that as, a, as an app as well. I blurred out all the stores because I want to let everybody know that we protect the, the privacy. This will be shared on YouTube, I'm sure, and we want to make sure that uh, our merchants are protected and that you're a Savion member. So if you want to be uh, part of our exclusive network and, and get access to them, then you've got to become a Savion member. Also, if you want to um, register your non-preferred stores, let's talk about that. You may select any of these stores uh, that you normally shop. We want your buying habits, right? And uh, what you do is you can... Uh, put them in, but one one question we get a lot is this online store. Well, if it's an online, it must also have a brick and mortar store. Will not accept receipts from like Amazon or eBay, for example. But if it is an online store, I had a guy ask me. Um, he said I, I buy a lot of ammunition online or a lot of hunting equipment online. I said okay, and he's like, well, can I do that? Can I put that in? I said, well, absolutely. Do they have a brick and mortar store? Um, attached to them and he said absolutely he said it's in it's in Florida though he said I don't want to drive all the way to Florida he said they only got one brick and mortar store I said okay well here's what you do you click the online button like I showed here and if you do that then it will count you just put the store name the address of the physical store and if it's a, a, a brick and mortar store let's say Target or, or Walmart something like that you just put the closest Target or Walmart address to you okay and you hit online and that way it will be accepted because we want to make sure we're all doing this correctly. So um, I've had a lot of questions about the hotel and the airline as well. Well, with the new GSP with the enhanced cash back, we allow you uh, to enter an airline and hotel. Now, I remember with the retail shopping membership, our older membership, these weren't included. You had to pay an additional $125 to get any extra value out of that. And uh, that was a separate membership on itself. Now, we do have some restrictions. We only want airline and hotels that you bought directly from that airline or you bought directly from that hotel chain. Uh, and we want you to take um, that, we want you to be able to take that, uh, that flight that same month, okay? Because right now the programming is only allowing us back 30 days. So let's say you go six months from now, but you bought the ticket now. Um, it, the programming is not going to allow you to put that in. Uh, now, again, we're enhancing it. Uh, through the airline and through the hotel, very, very quickly you're going to see what I mean by that. But uh, we're doing it for this reason so that way we can protect the data that we do have and show that people are currently traveling um, you know, right now. But if uh, hotel and airline isn't uh, interesting to you, you know, we've got the retail shop membership. Um, you, can, you can shop and do all that as well, online stores as well. So let's continue to move on. Next we have the cashback redemptions. A cashback redemption is very important. A lot of people ask me about the uh, the new redemption process, and this is this is something I want to key in on. Okay, you can record your receipts, and you can do your redemption from here. You click on the cashback uh, redemption button. But let's talk about after you've entered all your receipts, let's talk about actually doing a redemption because there's a little bit of confusion here. 
So again, guys, this is back office training. And this is gonna stop some of the support questions and tickets. Uh, what's gonna happen is if you have enough money to redeem, then you can click uh, enter redemption, okay? And uh, you see down here where it says purchase pass with approved redemption. I'm gonna get into that one in a second, okay? So I'll come back to the slide. But uh, this, Mr. Joe Smith chose not to do that. He wanted to enter redemption, but wait, there's one thing you've gotta make sure. If there's a drop down menu, see how I have $250 I can redeem for? Do not forget this. Don't hit enter redemption because it's gonna only give you 125. What we want to do is make sure that you click that drop down menu and select the full 250. Okay. Once you select that two, two, uh, 250, you get to hit enter redemption and it takes you to this page your cash back enhanced redemption. And it goes through the process of this. And this process is changing once the Android uh, app launches, which you know, we're literally within a couple weeks of that. So that's exciting. I've already seen the, the screenshots and the mock ups of it. So Get excited about the Android app, what's gonna be nuts, okay? But I wanna let you know that you'll be able to redeem from the, um, the application. Um, and we, one more update real quick, since this is a live webinar, I wanna tell everybody, here's another thing. Uh, people were saying that if I uh, went ahead and, and took pictures of my receipts, do I have to actually go in here and submit the receipts as well? Before that was the case, but now we've got a new process where we can check those redemptions of those receipts from our new uh, our new process with the app. So the good news is, I want to let everyone know that if you're taking pictures of those receipts, okay, and it's entering ledgers with your current iPhone app, congratulations! All you need to do is just come in here and click submit redemption, okay, and then what will happen is we'll be able to go back and uh, and go through those those those, those um, receipts for you because I've heard a lot of feedback. Some of the people are, you know, they've thrown the receipts away and something like that, but we've got the process lined out and we're going to continue to, to enhance that as well. But just know that you can do that and, uh, and we'll, we'll be able to approve that redemption as well. Now it's a 60 day process. Uh, let's go back to the redemption real quick of the passes. Okay. Let's say I redeem for a pass. Well, due to, uh, due to some of the, the loopholes uh, some people found and was was trying to uh, I don't want to say you know malicious but what I do want to say is you know if, if I enter the same receipt a hundred times took a picture of the same receipt um, the system back then wasn't checking um, it, it didn't have enough time to check you know whether that one receipt before issuing a pass now we have a seven day approval process you know that way we can actually get a second pair of eyes on that because again it is a 60 day, everybody needs to know this. This is a 60 day, this is very crucial. This is a 60 day approval process, okay? And now will will it get better? Will it get more enhanced, all that stuff? I don't I don't know. What I do know is we're putting teams upon teams on it, more software developers. We gotta extract this data like crazy. But if you want it earlier, you want it in the form of a pass, you can get it earlier. But what's gonna have to happen for you is you're gonna have to redeem it 30 days after, and this is only for GSP members, 30 days after, and then there is a seven day, just so you know, and you'll get a pop-up that says it, there is a seven day pass approval um, um, waiting period. So you redeem on day 30, great. You now go into a seven day approval process where we go through every single receipt, make sure every, it was all good. Uh, but basically what happens if you do this, we put you to the top of the list, because again, it's a 60 day approval, okay? We put you to the top of the list because you want your pass early. You want your redemption pulled out in the form of a pass, and we'll, we'll be happy to accommodate that. But what we want is we need you to um, understand that the delay is for a reason. We don't want people taking pictures of a farm animal and saying, hey, this is a receipt, you know, <laughs> and then us generating a pass, and by the time 60 days are up and all the stuff, we got, you know, these, these non-receipts, okay? You've got to protect the company, and this is the way to do that. So we still honor the 30-day redemption for a pass, but you need to make sure that uh, you tell your team and tell everybody there is a seven-day approval process. And I, and I hope you can respect that as well. Check this new feature out. Now, I told you about this one, but I want to show it to you. Um, on the redemption, this is the way to do it. And, and I, would, I would continue to let you know that uh, this is coming to the app as well. But do you see this right here where it says total receipt credits? 334.79, you see that? Okay, 
that's how many uh that's how much cash back basically that's credited to me the 334.79 but my redemption amount is 250 right if i was to hit chronological basically i have 334 dollars in receipt cash back right through all of this boom 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 i turn it all in so how much money am i leaving on the table let's be real you're leaving what is that 70 dollars on the table now we used to have this thing called an overage wallet now the overage wallet actually got more confusing to people and they had to build that up and, and it was redeeming as a pass as well uh, but only if they uh, you know did it in increments of 125 so instead of doing it for a pass why don't we give you that as in cash back to where you don't leave any money on the table so this chronological order right here is how you've entered them in boom 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 this is the neat feature. Now, programming introduced some cool technology with this optimized credit distribution. So we click this and look at what happened. As soon as I hit optimized credit redistribution and I said redistribute credits, okay, I clicked on that one, it automatically changed. Now, you've seen that it said with all the receipts I entered, it was $334. What I did was I re-optimized and just used these three receipts and look at how close it is now. I'm only leaving $4.79 on the table. So what I would tell you is you want to put all of these receipts in, as many as you can, because you can get this down to $0.34 cents of an overage or right at $250. If you had 30, 40 receipts in here of all your everyday shopping, because there's no cap, you can continue to put receipts in. You know, if that's what your shopping habits are, thank you. We want your data. So all of that being said, it gives you a better calculation at the end whenever it is time to redeem. No more money left on the table. You can do this every single month. It's incredible. Now, we're going to go through some more things. The next thing we want to talk about is how to enter your weekly receipts. We enter the weekly receipts here by uh, going to the um, weekly receipts. You enter them. You can put in your stores, your drop down of where I purchased it at and you put them in here you record the subtotal and a lot of people have asked me about you know uh, the currency converter you know I'm in UK or the can Canada uh, dollars or I, I'm in Hong Kong you know uh, we need it in US dollars as of now you can use the currency converter here but if you do um, wait of maybe a couple months Maybe earlier. We're, we're, we're trying to get this done earlier. We've got a lot of other changes. The work order has been submitted and we are working on it. We are going to allow you to put it in your own currency and it will convert to US dollars in real time. Uh, that way you won't have to worry about, um, about doing that anymore. So that's a big enhancement um, and it's coming. Uh, but we have to get the app launched. We had to get the Android launched as well. But just so you know, those updates are coming for you for sure. Now, I'm going to continue to go on. Um, I, this is where I'm going to break it up into to part two because there's a lot to cover on the affiliate genealogy, holiday bonus wallet, the e-wallet, your personals, the affiliate free membership, a lot of training support, where we're going with this whole thing. And to keep this part of the webinar recording uh, short, I'm going to go ahead and end it right now. If this was value for you, then absolutely go ahead and uh, share this with people. We appreciate it. And again, we're going to be breaking this up into sections, but until that time, uh, feel free to uh, share this with your team. This is Ryan Evans.